Hey everyone, this is KJack, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. Uh, last time we finished off with the uh, Guardians, and now we're heading into Baskar Village. Now I've actually done a little bit of uh, grinding, not much like a level or so, but it was mostly just to get extra money. Uh, so we could afford stuff over here, because... Uh, Equipment starts to get pretty expensive. Uh, like so. So we have 4.5 right now, so we don't even have enough to buy everything. But, uh, we will after we sell off our replaced equipment. And I didn't want to do too much grinding, you know? So, let's go ahead and buy her upgrade just in case. So let's sell, and uh, yeah, after we sell off everything, we should have enough to... There we go, misplay there. Bye. Ooh, I hope so, anyways. Yes. And now sell the sun poncho. And that should give us just barely enough. Yes. Success. Alright. Wow, I cut that freaking close. Equip. Oh, actually, I didn't even cut that that close. Okay, so, uh, this is Baskar Village. Which, we'll, uh, we'll talk to some people around. Well, you're dressed funny, you little punk. You can, uh, refresh your arm ammo if you need to. And we'll, uh, do a little bit of grabbing items around town real fast. Doggy. Now, Baskar Village is, uh, is a peaceful village. And, uh, so they, they abhor fighting. And, uh, although they're not above taking up arms if they feel they really must do so. But, uh, they don't, so they don't have their own, like, uh, weapon smith or anything like that. Or, uh, they don't have, uh, an arms upgrader. Uh, both the arms ammo refiller and the, uh, the actual arm, the merchant that sells weapons and equipment. Both of those are actually outsiders, so so is a screen haired person. I think that's all the items. I'm not really sure. But yeah, so this is Baskar Village. They worship the Guardians. And they got a big fucking dog. Wait, what? Really? That's good to know. <laughs> okay, so Baskar Village actually isn't a isn't a bad place to uh, grind around and about. Um, enemies outside give about you know two hundred ish experience and two hundred ish uh, monies per pack, depending on the pack you get, obviously. But uh, you can actually uh, rest for free here. I don't think we need to rest, so I don't think we're gonna. Um, but yeah, so you can rest for free. The only bad thing is there's a lot of status effects around here. Um, so to, to make it more efficient, you need to just keep the status effects on you that aren't that big of a deal. Um, that way you're not spending a lot of money, you know, buying stuff to, to refresh your stocks of status curing supplies. Oh, are you? I was not aware of that, actually. Thank you for letting me know. Alright. Okay, then. 
Um, well, let's skedaddle to Mount Xenom then. Uh, just to show you guys, I've equipped Jack with the Fire Ruin, which is Moa Galt, uh, which gives him more attack power. Yay! We left Cecilia on the Stoldark Water Ruin because it amplifies her magic capabilities. And we gave Rudy the Wind One. Just because maybe eventually he might be a little faster than something. Probably not. But, you know. No big deal. <laughs> yeah! Mount Xenom. Now this place actually is a bit of a bitch, so... Um... I do actually recommend you grind a little bit. Uh... La la la. It can be a very long, drawn-out dungeon if you don't know where you're going or what you're doing. Uh... With a little bit of backtracking towards the end, too, if you're, if you're like, not aware. And, of course, there's always these guys. Shriekers. Okay, so Shriekers, uh, one, don't hit them with lightning. Because <laughs> it heals them. Uh, two, they hit relatively hard. Uh, and three, they fucking uh, shriek and cause multiple status effects when they do so. So they are annoying as fuck. Fortunately, they're also weak as hell to flames, so Cecilia can, like, one-shot one of them. <laughs> and Rudy can't quite kill them instantly, but... Or, uh, Jack can't quite kill them instantly, but a Jack and Rudy combo can. I mean, if you're willing to sacrifice some MP from Jack to do so, uh, he could probably take them out with a, uh, Psycho Crack, but... You're gonna be using Jack's MP a lot in this dungeon, so I highly recommend you not do that. Alright, hey, that looks interesting up there. Let's grab this. And there's another chest above us, but, you know, enemies suck dick. Hey, like these... Oh, actually, no, this is... Okay, so this is actually one of the packs you don't want to use your mana on. Because they, they come in a, a split-up group. And it really makes everything kind of annoying. So, just... Yeah. On these, you can try and take out the, the duo group, but it's really not worth your mana to do so. It's better to just... See, they die pretty easily. I mean, she wouldn't have killed them without a critical, but, you know. Hey! And lucky card, which is very good. We like lucky cards. Okay, give me this. Okay, so blue circlet. Well, we'll find out momentarily. Ugh. At least we're getting a shit ton of counterattacks in. That's making things go a lot faster. As much appreciated game. Holy fuck, really? I need you to calm the fuck down, Jack. Just calm your tits. Right, so, uh... Yeah, no. Let's actually arrange real fast. I hate having my stuff not arranged. So, the blue circlet... Nullifies Paralysis, which, eh, not a huge deal at this very moment, but will be very important later on, so. Alright. We're not getting any of the big packs yet. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because I kind of want the money and experience, but I kind of don't want to deal with them. <laughs> Damn it! Okay, so there we go. What do we get? Oh, wow. We actually did not... Oh, no. We got a Shriek, or, or we got a Silence and a Forgetfulness on Jack, and a Forgetfulness on freaking Cecilia. Which... Yeah. That's uh, annoying. So... 
Oh god. This is why we have a little bit of everything. Ah, wrong thing. So you use the lighter to burn down the bushes, obviously. Uh, there's no reason to burn bushes that you don't have to, except for in one particular area. Uh, and I'll show you guys where that is. But I mean, it's not like you're gonna lose anything if you go bush burning willy-nilly. So, this is one of the places that we will use Jack's mana. Because a lot of times he'll get to go before them. And he'll prevent us... There we go. He'll prevent us from uh, having to deal with their status effects. And they are worth a decent amount of Gela. Freaking... This whole play, like, if you if you want to just, like, grind just to get more and more freaking money, I would not say no. Because, uh, uh, there's just so many damn status effects in this area that, here we go. Okay, and we're ambushed? Really? God, damn, that sucks. Es horrible. Oh, okay. Well, at least they didn't do any really stupid stuff to us. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to Psycho or Sonic the uh, little guys. You can also blast the little guys if you want to. Um, I mean, it'll kill them. Like, a blast will kill them. But I like to use Cecilia to guarantee one kill on a Shrieker. So... That's that's just what I do. And of course he attacks first. Fucker. And just finish him off. Very nice. battles in this. Oh, we got a preemptive, though. We also got a sound screw-up, I'm guessing that's what that is, because, Jesus Christ, that's just annoying. There we go. And hopefully, well, no, he's going to get a hit in, but hopefully he doesn't, like... Oh, hey, counterattack! At least he didn't, like, shriek or anything, so that's good. Alright. Pop down here. I need an encounter down or something. Like, this is getting a little ridiculous. There they go making cat noises again. to be so close to one-shotting him. Oh, great! It did damage instead. It does shit damage, and I think... I'm not positive, but I think if it does damage, it won't do a status effect. I'm not really sure. I'm sure, actually, it probably has the chance to do 
damage and status effects, but whatever. We got lucky that time. Do, 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 do. Ambushed again. What is with this? Why am I getting freaking messed with so much? This sucks. Please be a group of three. Yes! Success. Success. Alright, do not spark these guys. It will heal them, and you will hate yourself. Only blast them. Bam. There we go. Decent, decent. We are getting attacked a lot, but we're actually... Not getting nearly as many status effects as I feel like we normally should be. So that's pretty lucky. And we're actually making decent time through this dungeon. I think we actually will make it to the boss and out of it. We'll, we'll probably go a little over 30, maybe? But I think we'll make it in a decent sized video so I don't have to uh, split this dungeon up into multiples. Yeah, suck it. And we're getting, yeah, we're getting a good amount of money for, uh, which is good, because the next town, oh my god, I, I'm pretty sure things cost like. 2,000 in the next place. And of course you want to open all these with hand pan because if you don't it'll take damage. So yeah. Do, 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 do. And fuck these guys. I actually need to heal. We'll use some of our free heal berries that we just got. That counterattack. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit! What's happening? Woo! Yeah! Fast draw! Oh, I didn't even mention that. Um, the secret sign that we picked up is um, actually for Jack. You use it on a particular fast draw and it'll make it cost one less MP permanently. Um, you don't want to use these early on, like, at all, because you basically want to save... There's no limit. Uh, you can basically drop his highest skills down to one MP. Um, it's hard to do, and you gotta farm secret signs for eternity to do it, but it is possible. But in just a normal playthrough, you want to keep all the ones you find, even if you're not gonna farm more, just to make it easier to use the later versions of his fast draw that you get. So let's go ahead and use... You know what? Friggin' screw Rudy. We're gonna make Cecilia faster. Nah. Give Jack that attack power. And the potion berry. Okay. Fricker Frax. Oh shit. Uh these uh, guys uh, are a little rough, I believe. We're gonna just attack. We're gonna, I don't remember. But I think these guys are pretty brutal. breath oh shit yeah those guys are pretty brutal <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do a mystic heelberry 
That should be good. Oh, he ho. He ho. Ho, he ho, he. Um, you know what? Let's actually freaking use that, and we'll go ahead and throw a heal on Jack in case that it'll probably kill him. Meteor dive! Did not kill him. Holy shit. These guys are crazy. Ah, fuck it, no. I would, you know what, actually, let's summon guardians on everyone, because, well, we can't on everyone. We'll summon guardian on Jack and Ruby, Rudy, because I'm probably not likely to do that almost any other time, because... So here's, here's y'all's chance to see the guardians that I'm probably not gonna summon. Oh wow, that actually didn't do bad damage. There's Fingalon. That's gonna do horrible damage, it's gonna do like 30 or something. Oh wow, 70. Well, well it's still pretty bad, but whatever. Um, yeah, I don't want to use up all my mana trying to kill this guy. There we go. That guy's pretty brutal. 300 experience and 500 gal. Wow! That was worth. I mean, I don't want to do that multiple times, because it was a freaking pain in the ass, but damn. Let's uh, use that hillberry. Like I was saying. So you can skip the majority of these, but you do need to burn this one because there's a secret switch under it and it opens the door. So yeah. And just do this real fast. I'm gonna have to refresh Jack's MP here pretty soon. Very nice, very nice. Cecilia is starting to move out of her role as a heal bot. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, Cecilia is about to be the star of the show here when we get to the boss. I completely forgot about that. Let's hop in here real fast. Now Rudy's kind of the weak link. <laughs> oh, please don't silence. See, it did damage again and no status effect. I, I actually think if it does damage, it won't do a status effect. Someone verify that for me, because I am far too lazy to do so. go. And this will get us a mystic word. What's a mystic word, you ask? I'm glad you asked. It makes Cecilia hurt so bad. Which is very, very good for us. Uh, we need to use a magic carrot before we fight another battle. Make sure we actually have mana for freaking, uh, or MP for Jack to do anything with. Yes, I'm so glad I did that. Because these guys suck. Um, I think Spark actually does better against them. Hope I'm right. It looks like I was right. Yeah, I think, I think Blast does like 80 or something like that. Very nice. 
Oh, wow, this is going well. Okay, onwards. Let's head to the left. Damn it. Damn you! Hmm. So I'm gonna smack that guy. And just in the effort of avoiding as much damage as we can, we'll do like that. Actually, I think abort. No, I think freeze. On these. Actually, I think it's break. I was way off, I think. It doesn't matter. It's probably gonna die anyways. Yep. Get to works. Oh, Rudy didn't even get to do anything. Gosh, you're so bad, Rudy. And they are worth so little. That's annoying. Okay, let's carrot Cecilia real fast. Alright, and uh, let's go ahead and save. Yes. Don't want to accidentally, you know, die or anything like that. The boss we are about to fight is a little rough. Can be, anyways. I think we'll take her relatively fine. Ah! If we get there. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we'll go with that. A Sonic. And a fl and you know what? We're actually gonna... Because I don't want to use too much of his MP, so we're gonna attack and then blast these guys. We're doing fine as far as curatives go. But... Try to, uh... Not go through all my magic carrots. Those things are pretty valuables. Besides, Rudy and Jack together should kill that one guy. And I think with that counterattack from Cecilia, I think Jack might actually kill this Shrieker before it gets to do anything. Yep. Very nice. That worked out pretty well. Alright, let's hope that I can make it through this little puzzle without a fight. That is highly unlikely. Yep, highly unlikely. Now, let's just hope I don't have another fight after I finish the puzzle. Oh, fuck these guys. We're just gonna... We're just gonna go straight through. Before we step in, we're going to heal berry, heal berry, and might as well heal berry. And everything, everyone looks decent on mana. Uh, check real fast. He has the blue circlet, so he won't get paralyzed. And Cecilia has the water room. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Blew its head off. What the fuck, Bell Selk? That was unnecessary. That's a spoder. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, so I hope no one's like against giant spoders. So, yeah. Uh, this chick is kind of a bitch. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, actually, 
Ooh, we're getting a lucky card. Because there's not, not really a reason not to. And we're going to shield Cecilia so that she doesn't get screwed. Because the Orga Widow hits really freaking hard. Alright, so. Basically, every time he has force for a lock on handgun, we're gonna do so. Every time he has. or every time he doesn't have to. every time Jack doesn't have to do something himself, we're gonna meteor dive. And Cecilia, we're going to. heal. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna. we're just storing up force on Cecilia, hoping that, uh, she can. kinda steal the fight. Because the Orga Widow has quite the amount of HP, and does poisons and shit like that. Um, you know what? Fuck it, Rudy. You can antidote yourself. Meteor dive, and we're gonna punch it. <laughs> Even though it's probably not gonna do any damage, we're gonna punch it because we want the force. Damn, you are all over Rudy. I mean, I'm really not complaining that much, because keeps the focus off everyone else, but... Oh, God, yes. Okay, so this is why Cecilia suddenly becomes the star of the show. You will see momentarily. So that's 300 damage. Okay, Stoldark. And... 1,248 damage. Yeah. Cecilia hits like a truck now. <laughs> but only when she summons shit. Well, that's not true. I mean, she hits a truck with her... Like a truck with her magic, too. But she doesn't get to use that all that frequently. We gotta, you know... Be careful and pay attention. So, I could summon with uh, everyone else. But it's not gonna... It's gonna do shit damage. Um... So it's really pointless. So basically, we're just going to keep meteor diving, shooting freaking bazooka or whatever at it, and uh, maybe we'll get another stole dark or stole dark off, or hand canning, not bazooka. My bad. I'll get punch it. You're poisoning Jack again. I I don't think it stacks, Orga. That's uh a little dumb of you. And I think we should be done. Like We've actually probably blown through this relatively quickly. Here's hoping, anyways. If Orga's not dead off of this, it'll be pretty close. Nope, yep, you're dead. Very nice, very nice. See, fucking, I think Orga has like, like 5,000-ish health. Cecilia did nearly half of that on her own. <laughs> 600 and 1980. Very nice. It's pretty good. Oh, Power inside grows weak. Yay! The summit run! Alright, I'm gonna try and finish this up uh, relatively quickly. But there's one more thing we need to do here. So, I'm actually probably gonna run from fights if we get into them. Just because I don't wanna go too far over. Yeah. 
Do 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 do. Run from that. Ah, really? <laughs> ah. You're kidding me. Of course. Of course the game has to do this to me. You know what? Fine. You're gonna be like that. That was probably one of the fights I shouldn't have run from anyways, because it would have been relatively quick. Okay, so... What we want to do is we want to come over here, and we want to jump off this bridge. Now, the reason we didn't do it earlier is because if you do, you have to backtrack all the way back up, or halfway back up the mountain. But now we can just use escape and get the hell out of here. Very nice. I will do that right after this cutscene. Mother's actually quite the mother. She's so concerned with her childrens. Uh, no fights, no fights, no fights! Fuck yeah! Success! Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and save and end this video here. Uh, I know it went a little over what I normally try to do with this, but... We got to keep everything nice and concise and do an entire dungeon. So that was good. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will check you out next time. Later.